I think it's fair to say that the atmosphere at Emirates Stadium this season hasn't reached the heights that it did last season. It's just not been at the same level. But I think there are a number of reasons for that. So first of all, I think the fact that last season's title push and charge came completely out of nowhere for a lot of people created this enthusiasm and this buzz and this excitement that I don't think you can manufacture. Like you, you can't manufacture that feeling by putting a few extra drums in the stadium or having a few extra banners or doing TIFO displays. That kind of enthusiasm and energy that was, you know, all around the place last season only comes with a feeling inside you that is generated by, you know, what we saw unfold. And in the end, it didn't go our way, but, you know, that played a massive part. The fact that everybody at the time felt that Arsenal were punching above their weight created a different attitude towards the players and towards the team where maybe things weren't going our way. I remember so many times last season, Arsenal would concede a goal at Emirates and everybody would get up off their seat and start supporting and cheering the team on rather than the moans and groans that you get when there's an expectation to go out and win every single game. I think this season, the expectation is really different. I think a lot of people look at where we ended up and think that we should be back up there and we should be going beyond. We should be winning the thing. And when you have a higher level of expectation, it's more likely that you're going to be disappointed because the higher your level of expectation is, the the less you're willing to accept in terms of outcomes. And then naturally you're going to be frustrated. You're going to be angry. And I think that comes across in a football stadium. I've seen people talking about the Ashburton army who, when they first came about, I have to say, I looked at it and I went, well, does that really move the needle in terms of the general atmosphere in the Emirates stadium? I'm a season ticket holder that was always in the North bank end. Block six is where my season ticket is. But over the last couple of seasons where I've been covering Arsenal as a reporter, I've been sitting in the press box, which is obviously on the halfway line. And having moved kind of halfway around the stadium, I've got a different perspective now of what the atmosphere is like across the board. And it became really clear and apparent to me last season that the Ashburton Army were making a massive difference at that end of the stadium. Because I'd go to games before. And I'd go and sit in the, or stand in the North Bank and I'd come away from the game thinking, yeah, the atmosphere was pretty good today. And then somebody else that was at the other end of the ground would say to me, oh, it was dead today. It was really awful. Like it was really flat. And I'd have people that watch the game on TV say to me it was really flat. Well, it wasn't where I was. So does that mean that that wasn't transmitting to the rest of the stadium? I think it's really important to make sure that you can generate that atmosphere right around the ground. And I think the Ashburton Army were a massive, massive part of that. They still are today, but obviously there are less of them now um, because from what I hear, and I don't know this for a fact, from what I hear, their allocation or the agreement, the arrangement that they had with the football club is, is different now. Um, and, you know, on the one hand, I look at it and I go, well, you know, that's the club maybe not doing their bit to try and create the best possible atmosphere. But then I think also we've had so many debates about ticketing and ballots and all the rest of it that I guess they're probably just trying to be more fair in the distribution of tickets. And the problem with an issue like this is that you're never going to please everybody, right? So if you tell, you know, all the silver members uh, that they're going to go in a ballot, for example, for a ticket, they will, all, a lot of them will turn around and say, well, that's not fair. If you do it the old way, which was everybody logs on at 10 a.m. and the first come, first served, um, manage to get their tickets and everybody else misses out, then there's a group of people that will say, well, I'm at work at that time. I can't jump on. I can't sit on an online box office queue for 45 minutes. So that's unfair on us. Whatever you do, you're going to upset somebody. I think we can talk a lot about what the club can do in terms of the atmosphere, but we can't really control that. We can't really influence that too much. Um, we can say our piece, we can have our voices heard, but I think ultimately the main responsibility for the atmosphere is on us. And I think a lot of the reason why it's been a bit flat at times this year has been because that level of expectation now exists. And when that level of expectation is there, unless you're winning the game, you are going to be frustrated 
and disappointed because you've set your bar so high. Whereas if you're not really expecting it and you go a goal down, you come across with a completely different vibe. There's a completely different energy. Um, you know, there is a, a buzz. There is a support. There is an unconditional support because you appreciate that you're in the mix because your team are punching above the weight. So generally your mood around the football club is a happier one. And I think we've got to do more as fans. You know, I really, really do. I feel like a lot of us have, have gone into the campaign thinking, well, if we don't win the league, it's not good enough. And as a result of that, whenever we're not winning, we're not playing at our best. There's a there's a frustration rather than a, you know what, I'll get behind the boys and I'll try and do my bit to lift them. And if we can lift them as a collective, then, you know, it gives them that extra bit of energy. And it's why last season we scored so many late goals. We, you know, had so many comebacks, so many amazing, memorable moments. Now, listen, last season didn't end the way we wanted it to. But once the dust settled and, and I look back on it, it is one of the most memorable seasons for me as a fan. Um, because some of the moments that we experienced along the way were, were superb and, and were moments that will stick with me forever. So I think that's really, um, really, really important. And I think that's a big part of maybe why the atmosphere isn't the same. The level of expectations changed. And I think people's attitude towards the team has changed as a result of that. And when that happens, um, you know, your reaction to certain things, your reaction to adversity, for example, will be a very, very different one. But yeah, um, this idea of of the drums and all of that stuff, I think it helps. I think that culturally, England is a very interesting place when it comes to football. You go anywhere in Europe, you'll find ultras with drums. But when drums come out in the Premier League, everybody goes, oh, what is this? What are we trying to do here? We don't have ultras, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you this. I'm very, very lucky, especially over the last couple of years, to have travelled to a lot of different places on the continent to watch games of football. And the atmosphere in England, generally speaking, doesn't even come close to some of the atmospheres that I've experienced in Europe. And guess what they had that the English football generally doesn't? Drums, flares, um, ultra sections, all the rest of it. So to turn your nose up at that kind of stuff and then moan about the atmosphere is weird to me. I don't think those things should be the be all and end all when it comes to the atmosphere. I think you have a responsibility as fans and, and myself included to do that, to do our bit more and to do it better. But it certainly helps when you have that synchronicity, when you have that, um, you know, that that sort of collective organization that provides the base of your atmosphere. So Listen, I would like to see more of that, obviously. Um, I would like to see the club support that. Um, I think that it shouldn't be one group of people necessarily that um, hold all the cards in this because then you create ultra situations like you have in other countries where ultras are starting to dictate what the club do. This is not a dig at the Ashburton Army, by the way. I think they've done a great job of improving the atmosphere. But I think the club should take it upon themselves to try and aid this um, without it being something that they pass responsibility over for to a specific group, if that makes sense. 